Greetings YouTube, it's the Brain Damage Gamer here, and we have another episode of Return or Retain for you. Today I shall be trying out Bunker Punks. Uh, this game is one that I had seen when it first came out, and I picked it up immediately. I just hadn't had a chance to play it right away. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and be diving straight into this. I understand it's a rogue light where it has that rogue based elements, but there's also some permanents. You get to do some upgrades actually make a difference. Uh, and it is old school type graphics. So fair warning for those folks out there that don't like those. And let's go ahead and get my new game going. Raw rounded pistol slinger. Don't mess with Texas. Some guy from Texas. Eh, I'm not usually too big on shotguns. Let's do this. I'm more of a pistol person, so we'll go with pistol. This is Molly Pop. Um, and where I loaded in. in. Oh, crap. oh shit, my stuff disappears. I wanted that. Uh, how do I reload? It's not R. Uh, one moment. Let's figure this out. Oh, field of view. Gotta get the widest field of view. There's no buttons. I, I can't look at or change the buttons. Can I reload? Right click doesn't do anything. Mouse wheel doesn't do anything. Mouse click doesn't do anything. Tab. Shift. Alright, it is getting one point for a user interface. Either give me the ability to change the buttons or tell me what the hell the buttons are. One of the two. E to use. Okay, I'm alright with E to use. Got it. Oh, assault rifle already. Wow, that's kind of cool. Whoa. Oh, the water made me slippery or something. I don't know. Overall, the, the gameplay itself feels very nice and responsive. Uh, I've heard people say it's similar to Doom. Yeah, I get a much more of a Blake Stone type vibe out of this game. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever played that one. It was basically somewhere between Doom and Wolfenstein. Fun game. But uh, a lot of the, the vibe just kind of comes off as the same sort of thing. Ooh, shotgun. Eh, I'll stick with what I got. Ugly thing. That shoot its bullet. Ow. Again, don't know what the buttons are, so I was kind of guessing at some in hopes that one of them. Uses, I picked up a med kit, I thought, but apparently not. I think those things suicide. Got it. Oh, it just gives you the health straight up. Well, good to know. Ah, crap! Lost five of it already. Yeah, I got six back. Nice. Picked up the ammo drain. Oh, you don't actually... That's dumb. You don't actually reload. It's that's a hundred bullets. That's literally all I have. No, you don't. I don't know. There's just a little dash of serious Sam mixed in with this too. It's a lot of fun so far. Outside of the UI not exactly being forthcoming with what you're supposed to do. It's not a bad game. As of right now. As always, I do reserve the right to say oh, what the hell happened towards the end. All right. Next floor. I'm liking this. Just a, all right. See, look. Here we go. For like a fifth of a second, there was some keys right there. Oh crap! I 
I guess we're going through the red door. Ah, got him. Shit. Quicker, quicker. I hear something. I just don't see it. There it is. One of them little shits. I think I'm being too stingy with the ammo and I don't need to be. Because you notice that it's it's firing in little bursts. That's actually me doing that. Because if I hold it, I think I, I shoot longer. Yeah, see? I leaned like that was going to help me avoid the bullet. Yeah, I've got ammo all over the place for this gun. I don't need to worry about saving. More ammo. Eh, credits. So that was a trick. This game's actually a lot of fun. So much so, I keep forgetting to talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm not seeing any issues. I mean, the, the graphics aren't amazing, but it's not intended to be. It's supposed to be retro. Nice. Yeah, skate pads. Melee damage improved. I'll take that. Is there a map? No. Again, buttons would be nice. Like I said, it, it shows some sort of button configuration for like a fifth of a second. Oh, there it is. Ah. The hell is that thing? I mean, most of these just look like robots. That looks like something else. Looks like some sort of dude. Dude. Yay! Hit the button. I'm getting my ass whooped. Only got 28 health left. Oh, that was it! Never mind. Build and upgrade your bunker to help your punks in the war against the corporate government. Ominous, vague sort of thing. Sure. Well, my two options are firing range and infirmary. So, I guess I'll build one of each. Uh, oh, there it is. Resources. Okay. Increase shotgun, pistols, and handguns. Well, we'll go with pistols and handguns. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to upgrade that a second time. Fuck. Ah, oh, that could have come in handy, and I can't do it now. Damn it. Well, I increased my max health. Sure, shotgun. So now I got a little bit of upgrades for quite a few things. I like. So far, I like. How do I unlock the other stuff? Oh, then I pick where I raid. Eh. Logistics and medical, why not? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I equipped an extra weapon. All right, E is to you things. This is Molly Pop. 
Um, okay, I've got two. Sweet. Ow! Shit, fuck damn. I'm stuck on something. Aha! That's got a lot of kick. I may want to save that for later. Nice. Ooh, sneakers. Light armor. So I'm basically becoming a skater girl. Because why not? everybody yay money now I know what the money's for I'm, I'm a little more eager to get it eh. shit I can tell already to be perfectly frank at this point and I hate to say holy crap what hit me Something blew up on me. I hate to say it, but most games, within the first couple of minutes, I know whether or not I'm probably going to like. Now, that said, sometimes the games will surprise you and make you wonder. Okay, so... Riot boots give me bonus damage to shotguns and pistols. Okay, but... Skate shoes give me plus 5% armor and 10%. I'm assuming that's melee, but I don't know how to melee. I, I don't know how to melee. And the game won't tell me. I hear something. Do those respawn? Weird. I don't know what that was, but I destroyed it. Oh, crap. Stick your head out. Stick your head out. <laughs> that worked. Uh, what's this do? No, not a shotgun. What's this yellow thing? Got it. Ah, oh, great. It's gonna hot sw- Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know it. No! bad. Alright, here we are. Hard hat gives me bonus, again, with the melee damage from the skate hat. I'm good. You know what? Screw it. I shouldn't have used that weapon, but I did. All I don't right. give a damn. Let's go to the next floor. Yeah, but it's usually within the first couple of minutes I can tell if I'm going to like a game or not. Here we go. And, I mean, this strikes me as a good game. And I think what I really mean by that is you can tell if somebody's put any effort into a game in the first couple of minutes. This game screams of loving care that somebody put it together. They didn't just throw together some random ass assets. I could be wrong. I mean, this could all be store-bought assets, but it doesn't really feel that way, if that makes sense. But... That there's a reason I give all the games up to a half hour is because I'm looking for quality. I'm looking for content to make sure that it's actually worth anything past those first few minutes. Because, I mean, like a drift. I, I know that some people have completely disagreed with my review of that, and that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to. Everybody has a different opinion. And at the end of the day, that's what this is, my opinion. See, there we are. That's that's more realistic. I'm going to go to that. I'll take that. But my opinion of that game was not that was bad, but it wasn't really amazing either. It was kind of, eh. I feel like I ate just a whole bunch of uh, Chinese takeout. I was hungry ten minutes later. I was wondering where the rest of the meal was. Where are my leftovers? I need to dig into that doggy bag. Uh-huh. This game doesn't give me that impression. This just feels fleshed out. Like somebody's actually put effort into it. 
I don't know. I'm not saying that there wasn't effort in a drift. I'm saying that it just didn't feel like they'd finished their idea for the game. It's like they had an idea and then just didn't quite get it all together. That didn't go well. Sure, why not? Oh. Nah. Not using any explosives. I'll take tech. I'll take money. I don't know. When it comes to games like Adrift, th those are often somebody's personal preference anyway. There, that worked. Oh, I saw that crap hanging from the ceiling. Oh, shit! We missing one? There he is. That was crazy. Yeah. There we go. what those new things are, but they don't strike me as, uh, friendly. Did I kill it? I'll be damned I did. See, if I hadn't gone that way, I'd have missed out on all this cool stuff. I'd say that was worth it. The one thing I'm not liking is the fact that my stuff disappears so quick. Oh, wow. Profits are up. Consume. Consume. A very, uh, they live vibe here going on. Which, that was an okay movie. I think it's a little overrated, personally. Hey, back to HQ. Still don't get the others. What's up with that? Need 200, I got 170. Figures I'm shy. I'm gonna save that. Oh, it actually keeps my weapons from the previous run. That's kind of cool. This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. Oh crap! That worked. That also works. If history's taught me anything from my other games I've played. That thing will explode when I shoot it. I mean, it's not exactly cutting edge gameplay in this game, but it, it is. It's like a warm blanket on a cold night. It's something you're familiar with. It may not be the most effective or efficient way to get warm, but it's the, one of the ones that you're familiar with. So why not? I mean, there's a lot more technically competent shooters out there able to do a lot more, but this is old familiar. It's more of the same. And if you're all right with that, enjoy the game. I am. And like I said, it's not bad. Oh, crap. Mm, we're going to go down here. On die, damn it. Ha ha. So I mean yeah. It's been decent fun. 
After the last one I had, it's kind of nice to have a fun game. Last one was rough. Holy crap. You know what? I don't like getting re returns, but it's the nature of the business. I'm not going to keep a piece of crap. And if somebody can't put the effort together to actually make a playable game, I'm going to return it. Like I've said a couple of times, though, I don't think a drift, and I'm talking about a different game now. Nice. Nice. I don't think a drift's a bad game. I think it's just not really what I was looking for. I expected more from what they showed even in their uh, trailers and whatnot. And instead, it turned out just walking simulator, which was kind of disappointing. This game is exactly what you see on the tin. It advertises... Made it. Crazy shooting action? You got crazy shooting action. Advertises old school retro type feel? Right there. Here we go. And I've been playing a decent amount of The Division because the new patch came out in that. And let me tell you, this feels more competent than The Division in a lot of ways. It's definitely got more uh, thought put into it at least. They just did that new patch and added uh, the Falcon mission, and it's broke. That mission's got so many bugs in it, and the environment has so many bugs in it. We're all getting, everyone I was playing with was getting stuck in the geometry constantly. I haven't had that happen yet in this game, but it's simpler. That's no excuse when you didn't try. That was a little crazy. You know what? Shotgun. I don't know what that was, but I blew it up. More shotgun ammo. It's over here. I've right, been that way. These loop back on each. No, nope, here we are. What else we got? I saw you. Too far away for that. Got him. There we go. So the elevator unlocks when I kill enough of these guys inside that immediate area. There's the melee damage. Okay. That seems like a terrible idea in this game. Yeah. Going point blank with a bad guy. I'm going to pass on that. All right, all right, that one. All right, hang on, I know where I'm at. So I went that way, what about over here? Is that part of the way I came in? Did it loop? It looped, okay. Yep. Well, that's that. That's a wrap. She said. I unlock anything new yet? Of course not. How do I unlock the next level? Oh. Upgrade now. Hey! Now I heal per combo kills. Nice. What do I do with the tech? Fun game. Still doesn't explain very much to you. This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. Holy crap! Man, definitely took the freaking training gloves off now. 
Holy heck. What is that? Oh. Explosives. That'd have come in handy. A bit late. I saw something. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. What's this? Skate pads. Oh shit. So I get for stretching. Assault rifle. More assault rifle still. Alright, what's it say on the wall? Proxy men? To observe and control. That's what these poor bastards look like? Feel a little bad for y'all. Oh, it's a gas mask. I, I thought it was like the head of like a scarecrow or something with like a necklace. <laughs> See, that's just like the neck, and then here's the necklace across the neck, and then just eyes. But no, that's that. This down here is the gas mask. <laughs> Downsize, become a proxy man. If you're the corporation running everything, aren't you the one doing the downsizing? So the messages will downsize you, then hire you again in a worse position. I'm assuming worst position. It doesn't look like it'd be fun to be one of those guys. I, I get a distinct uh, Cyberman feel from them. Oh! I don't know what just happened. My game just had a hiccup. Recording still going. What the frick is that? Holy crap! It's no joke! Where to go? Where to go? Left or right? Left or right? Ha ha! I should have swapped out to that. Holy hell! Threw something new. I was just when I thought the game, I was starting to get the the handle on the game. The game was like, oh no no no, new shit. Figure it out or die. Whoo! Oh, I got two more floors. Yay. That Here was crazy. Go. Oh, crap. I keep trying to sprint. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I'm dying. That was no joke. They severely messed my day up. Bring it on. Ready for y'all now. Uh -huh. Ha ha. Got 100 ammo back in that. It's kind of weird you got to swap between ammo types. Alright, that one's dead. Nothing there. Oh, tech, I'll take tech. I got both of them? Yeah, I got both of them. Well, once I either die or finish this level, we're gonna be wrapping this video because we're damn near at time. Like I said, I don't know which will happen first. Health! Where'd he go? Aha! Aha again! 
I'm up to a whopping 12 health now. Careful now. Getting crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Shotgun ammo. I will not say no to this. Shit. Yep. Alright. Shotgun worked a lot better for that. It's like a dog of some form. Cyber dog? Ah! Geometry! Oh, twofer. I got full ammo, but I'll take it anyway. All right. You notice I'm not trying to go back and explore looking for other areas now. I get my butt whooped too much for that. <laughs> Am I gonna get attacked again right off the bat? Second, open this door too. Here we go. Now ah, we're so close. Ow! And that's me. Some sort of turret thing. I noticed it in the corner, but I didn't have time to shoot at because I was trying to shoot the little dude before he blew up on me. So what happens now? Do I lose that lady? Yeah. That sucks. Oh, here's where the tech comes in. So I bought the bunk beds. Oh, rifle weapon. Rifle expert with a mean streak. Merchant that stitches me? Oh, Doc Mercy down below. Okay. Yeah, why not? We'll get that so we can increase our uh, sniper range. Or I, it said rifle, I'm not assuming sniper. So, new game. What happens now? Alright. So, that's the one I want to go with. Oh, I get these two. Okay. Well, no, I didn't have that two before. I had to actually unlock that other mine. ability. I'm going in. Oh, and it's just right into the next... Ow. Alright. This game, I could keep playing for hours on end. I'm not going to do that for the video, though. So we're actually going to wrap it right here. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It only got the one point, and I still stand by that point. It needs to do something about the user interface. That little, here's a quick blurb, especially on my computer. My computer's fast. It loads this game so fast, I barely even get a look at that. You can't use that as your loading screen and assume that the computer's going to be slow enough you'll be able to have people read that. Give me an option when I hit escape in here. Something that tells me what the buttons are. Outside of that, great game, fun game. I recommend it. Uh, it definitely scratches that go, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot urge with that uh, little bit of the roguelike element. I don't know that you really need the roguelike element in this, but I mean, it adds a little bit to the game, I guess. I don't know. But I am keeping it is definitely a retain but as always i am the brain damage gamer i would like to thank everyone for watching uh, if you like the video feel free to go ahead and hit like if you'd like to see more content like this leave some comments down below indicating what game you'd like to see me try out and what game you think could be uh, good for me to give it a spin see if i'd recommend it or not but like i said i am the brain damage gamer and as always game on